More than 170 million U.S. users now wait for the Senate to make a decision on the TikTok ban bill. What does it mean for the users or businesses that make a contribution to the economy from the popular app? Joining us now, American University Information Technology and Analytics Professor Sean Jansen. It's great to have you here, Sean. What's your take on all of this? Do you think this ban uh, will have an impact on the economy? I think it'll have a momentary impact. Uh, it is something that we do contribute and to the economy, but it's not the only platform in town. Yes, a lot of people are on it, and that's where there are a lot of eyeballs. But you got to remember, we had life before TikTok. There are many other platforms. In fact, many of the other platforms, such as Instagram and YouTube, offer better monetization efforts for its users. So the difference is really going to come down to where the people on these different platforms are getting their additional streams of income in terms of sponsorship deals, Patreons, et cetera. American users, they're concerned about their data in the hands of U.S. regulators. If ByteDance is forced to sell, what could the data be used for at home that is protected from foreign adversaries? So most of these companies, right, and we're not talking about just the sort of bite dance and TikTok situation. If you're talking about also Meta and it's used through Facebook and Instagram or Twitter, now known as X, right, these companies are mining your data. That's to be sure. The question is, to what other extent could they be using this for? The, the large concern around bite dance and by extension, the CCP is that this information could be used for influence operations at home. And we have reason to believe that it already is. As we look towards the future of social media platforms, if they are being constantly scrutinized for national security threats, could we see uh, banned threats? I'm not so sure that we're going to have these sorts of overreaching regulation on social media companies writ large. Could happen, possibly, but we still can't seem to figure out Section 230, which is what allows most of these social media companies to offer the defense of not being responsible for what's on their platform. So I don't think Congress is going to be able to get anything comprehensive passed through as far as that goes, at least not anytime soon. Professor Sean Jansen, thank you for joining us tonight on the National Desk. Thank you.